Hey everyone, this is Sujoy Shivde again and as promised I have the first video for you iPod Nano 2nd Gen Review and my vision for the iPod So let's get started So this is going to give you a physical overview of the device This is the iPod Nano 2nd Gen I've got the anodized blue variant It's really slim, I can't tell you the exact slimness But anodized The gigabytes are clearly mentioned over here see 4 gigabyte variant I have okay this is the iPod Nano it has a click wheel which you can scroll around with your finger you can, there's a center button pressable and even the click wheel is pressable all these four buttons not feather sensitive they have to be pressed and this for volume control and adjusting few settings you can turn the wheel it has Apple's 30 pin connector like right in it's not reversible and this is the place for the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right this is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top it's written hold and we can see it's a button which you can pull and it brings the iPod to life okay I know my iPod seems to have low battery but this one this device has been on battery for almost seven hours with around average of three hours music playback so and still on red so it's not dead yet so let me give you an overview of the ui as i said you can scroll with your finger all the way down and uh, directly for music here my playlist artist album song genre or you can just search search the name of the song from here then you can search if you have directly made playlists these are my playlists you can have it songs just select a song it will if you connect it with a headphone you can also see the album artwork double tapping and uh, you can uh, jump to a fast fast pace region and uh, you can rate the song you see the artwork obviously you can rate to just i'll wake you through the settings a bit to show you what all functionality this thing offers so basically you have about which tells you the name and the capacity how much is available and what version you have next is you can customize what all you can see on the main menu it has a built-in feature called Nike plus iPod. You just connect a sensor over here and put the other sensor in the shoe and it will count your steps. Handy feature, but need to. it would have worked better if the sensor was already integrated. So you don't need to buy another 30-pin connector and attach it over here. But nevertheless, it's good. You can copy photos from your iTunes and they'll be visible over here. You have a clock, a stopwatch, calendar, contacts, just simple things. Games is great. It's a great feature and you can shuffle the songs obviously there's a limit you can limit the volume backlight timer audiobook can be synced from itunes again there's this given this equalizer i've never used it but i think it will be great and then you can have this sound for the clicker look at that you hear it see it's clicking uh, just i kept it off because i think it would save battery so i've just turned it off but yeah this is great you can reset all settings and all that so I'll just show you a few games now extras you can see I'll just show you the games first you get four games typical brick game you can see uh, one of the brick games and you know how it is so I'll just stop you have a music quiz which will play your song and if you put, play the, put the right song you will get right marks it just keeps on going parachute is a fun game you have to shoot using the home button you have to kill the you have to kill the soldiers who are sending down and uh, it's kind of fun, you get stuff, really fun game. And last is the solitaire typical. It's exactly the solitaire we are all used to. It is solitaire for you. Put the aces over there and all. Exactly solitaire, perfectly solitaire. So um, to think about it, display is not that high res as you can see because my iPad Air 2 is not being able to capture the pixels properly and uh, the display is not that good you can say but it gets the job done basically you have to see what song to select and what not so it gets the job done 
and basically it's a great player it's extremely light look at my phone it's twice as hefty this is the effect i'm trying to create this is extremely thin and this is now 10 years old but still working strong it's great i'm really proud i have this product it's a good product this lock ensures that the song is not disturbed like it's not paused or the volume doesn't change when it's in your pocket or placed here or there so it's a good touch the whole button overall ipod nano looks a good device to me now some features that i feel should have been there today if i was because i still use it today i feel there should have been a few more features like nfc or bluetooth obviously it's impossible because apple is just implementing nfc into its devices but it would have been great if i could just pick up my bose and if bose had nfc too i could just tap it to start playing music through this so just now what i have to do is i need to connect a cable this way i need to connect the cable i need to connect the other end to the bose i need to put on the headphones i need to select a song select a song from songs this one put it on my ear now you can hear it through the boss so that is it so it's now time i talked about my vision for the ipod now that i've given you a review about the ipod and a brief overview it's time to talk about the vision of the ipod that i have in stock for you so uh, according to me the ipod was created for music lovers for people who specifically wanted to concentrate on listening to music it wasn't meant for people who want to do everything or do a lot of things at once so let's take the ipod nano i have for example ipod nano look at the display it's extremely small display will just fit this gap and the display is just barely small enough that you can see the song which is being played just now so that is the simplicity it offers it does not cram videos or any complex things in it it sure it gives you the functionality of adding in photos from your library which you want to show hey look at this i have this so when it this product was launched 9 years back in 2006 the idea was to give this product to music lovers and i think apple has been extremely successful as this has been a great ipod and many people all over the world still use it to see look at the look at the comparison this is the moto x and this is the ipod nano look at how slim the ipod nano is moto x is not extremely thick but look at the ipod nano and find thick so i think this is purely meant for music lovers and apple has done a good job by not diluting the experience apple has not added a lot of things it has not added fancy things it has added decent amount of memory just two sports good battery life of 24 25 hours and i think this has made it a super hit product and uh, my vision of the ipod is that ipods should remain that way they should offer the best music playback experience they should not be mixed with a cell phone and a tablet when you want to listen to music on a cell phone you have to search on the cell phone you have to search okay and then when you are on the cell phone you need to navigate to where your music app is and when you are in the music app navigation look at that it's taking time to load i know you can't see but it's taking time to load and then to look and search for the song another 2 3 minutes it all destroys the mood i would say because you are hunting for songs look you are still scrolling and hunting for songs and not not and then suddenly you get a phone call oh no i was listening to song and the phone call got interrupted why do you need that when you decide you want to listen to music you should have an ipod not even the ipod touch it has facebook and all sorts of apps and notifications it is slightly a dilution of the entire music listening experience and i think the ipod nano is unique that way this model and the one before that and the one after that it didn't dilute the experience of playback of music it offered us full functionality to listen to music full battery life to enjoy our music for even two or three flights if we had to go on a flight with this device you would still have 2000 songs in our pocket because this is a 4 gb variant you can have the 8 gb variant with around 3 4000 songs and you would have even more entertainment to carry with you you can couple it with a few photos and yeah sure if you get bored there are four games which are playable on this device and basically the ease 
ease and the form factor is great which makes it one of the best iPods. Apple is changing its policies, it's becoming a different company, it's introducing its revolutionary multi-touch as a now force touch and its new products will come out soon. But I think this is the way to enjoy music and Steve Jobs showed people the way that if you want to do something well, you must concentrate on that particular aspect. You should have focus. So that is exactly what the iPod Nano did. Great anu anodized aluminium back and great build. It has lasted me 10 years. It's extremely strong. It has taken a couple of falls and drops. I don't want to do that now because I won't get any spares. But I think it can handle it. And I think it's a great product that I might use for even 5 more years. And who knows, I might talk about this again in 5 more years when I'll be comparing another iPod that will launch in 2020. So that's it. That's my vision for the iPod. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you like it. Thank you for watching this video by Fluidic Joy.